back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's been a long time since I last posted my video. So a lot of things have been going on past two weeks and if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that I was out of town, I was on my vacation and I went to Shimla and Delhi and I was really sick for so long. The day I went to Shimla, I just fall sick over there and my vacation actually ruined and I was so sick that I had to return to Delhi. But I have really a very good time in Delhi guys and I enjoyed a lot and have shared a lot of things on my Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram then please do follow. I'll be linking my social handles in the description box. So that is all happening and another thing which has happened which I haven't shared with you is that my camera got crashed. The day I went to Shimla, just I landed to Shimla, my Canon 750D was showing error 20 and I couldn't take a single picture, I couldn't just vlog, I can't use my camera and that was the worst thing that had happened to me and I was so sad guys that I couldn't make out what to do. We didn't get any service center in Shimla so uh, the day when we returned to Delhi we just went to Connaught place to the Canon service center and there uh, the guy told me that uh, it will need around 10 to 12 days to repair my camera but uh, uh, which is quite a long time as I will be not staying in Delhi for so long so I returned to Kolkata on the 8th and then I just took my camera to the Canon service center got my camera repaired yesterday and today I am filming so all these are really long stories guys but I am really happy today that is I am now sitting down in front of my camera and filming for you guys and this really makes me happy because I just missed you a lot. So now coming to the point of today's video guys. Today's video is a makeup tutorial of this makeup look which I am currently wearing. So from the title guys I think you know that this makeup look is a long lasting sweat proof bulletproof makeup tutorial for summer. So summer is here in India and the most important and the most worst thing which I face while just moving out in the hot summer days is that my makeup actually just melts down. So I couldn't make out what sort of makeup will work for me. So I thought of doing this makeup look guys. This is a makeup look which I am currently wearing and, and I have been wearing this makeup look uh, since past a few days and it's working pretty well on me in the hot summer days. So I'm going to show you this makeup tutorial, some tips and tricks regarding how you can do this makeup to make your makeup last for a very longer period of time in the hot summer days. It's basically a very long lasting makeup tutorial guys and the tricks which I have shown you I think will be really helpful for you. So this is basically a talk through makeup tutorial in which I'm gonna just explain. So this video is going to be a little bit long video guys. So please do grab a snack and enjoy it. So if you want to know how I achieve this long lasting summer makeup tutorial for everyday use then please keep on watching. you have to do is to apply ice cubes all over your face so just take a single ice cube like this and then just start on applying it all over your face like this for around two to three minutes like this applying ice cube on your face actually helps in just closing uh, up your pores so your pores will not produce any sweat and uh, this will just make your makeup sweat proof so guys I have applied ice cubes on my face and I will just allow it to dry naturally and then I'll be just applying my moisturizer so for the moisturizer I'm going to use uh, this one this is a simple kind to skin rich replenishing moisturizer so this is a really good and uh, I really like this moisturizer and, and I have been using this past two months so this is a really lightweight on the scale so when you just put it on your face you will be able to see that it just absorbed into your skin instantly so use any moisturizer you have but uh, this one suits me so I am using it but don't forget to moisturize your skin guys because moisturization is really needed you just need to prep your skin so moisturization done guys, so now it's time to apply 
uh, sunscreen which is I think the most important step and you won't be forgetting to apply your sunscreen so this is a Lotus UV screen matte gel uh, sunscreen which has got SPF 50 this is a more like a gel and it has got a very nice formula I really like the formula of the sunscreen and then just gonna blend it into my skin so I have applied sunscreen now it's time to apply primer so for the primer I can recommend you this one so this is a Lotus Eco Stay Insta Smooth Primer so it's more like uh, this one you can see it's uh, like a gel a uh, silicone gel and it instantly just fills your pores so I really like this primer so you can just apply it if you want so what a primer does is that a primer acts as a shield on your face which uh, actually just makes your makeup last for a very long time and it also acts as a barrier between your skin and your foundation so your foundation won't be able to seep deep into your skin on the other hand a primer also helps in just blurring out your pores it makes your skin smooth so i have applied primer all over my face uh, you can even apply primer on the areas where you have uh, lash pose only and you can uh, leave the rest of your face but for making your makeup long lasting and bulletproof you just need to apply primer all over your face as I did so this is almost done guys these are the preparations which you just need to do before just doing your makeup because you just need to prep your skin very well and uh, if you just prep your skin very well your makeup will be lasting for a very long time so so now I'm gonna just do my eyebrows and for the eyebrows I'm gonna use uh, this eyebrow pomade. So this one is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Eyebrow Pomade and I got the shade Ebony. So this is really long lasting guys and I really like to do my eyebrows using this pomade only. So at first I'm gonna just brush my eyebrows down to know the exact eyebrow line. Now taking the eyebrow pomade in the brush it comes with I'm gonna just line my eyebrows like this I'm not doing any sort of fancy stuff guys I'm just lining my eyebrows following the natural eyebrow line now taking the same pomade as well I'm gonna just uh, fill in the gaps guys it's done and you can see eyebrows uh, makes a lot of difference to your look so I'll be doing the same thing on my left eyebrow as well so guys now I'm gonna do a different sort of thing which I haven't done but uh, this will just help in making your foundation and your makeup last for a very long time so what you need is that you just need any loose powder or translucent powder you have so I'm gonna use uh, this one this is from sugar it's the sugar all set to go translucent powder so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take uh, this blender and take the translucent powder in the blender and just press it all over my face so you can use any translucent powder or any uh, powder you have don't use a compact but try to use a translucent powder as it will not give you any sort of coverage or it will not uh, change the color of your skin or anything like that so a powder actually sucks up the oil from your face and it also helps in just reducing the sebum production from your face so during the summertime when you'll be moving out in heat uh, the powder actually will control the sweat on your face so before doing foundation you need to do this step if you have very dry skin guys I would advise you not to do this step because this will make your skin a lot more drier but if you have combination or, or normal or oily skin this will really help you so so guys uh, you can see that I have applied uh, the primer I have done my eyebrows and on top of that I have applied the translucent powder now it's time to apply foundation so during the summertime it's best to use a matte foundation and as a matte foundation helps in mattifying your face and it will help in controlling sebum or oiliness from your face so for the foundation I'm using uh, this LA Girl uh, Pro Matte HD foundation and it's one of my favorites and I really like this one So this is the shade light tan guys and it's perfect for my skin tone.
So this foundation provides me a very nice semi-matte finish. This foundation is a really long lasting guys but if you have very dry skin I would just advise you to mix a little bit of oil just two to three drops of oil and then apply it all over your face so the coverage is also good it has got a very nice medium coverage which you can easily build it up but I wouldn't advise you to build this up because it's summertime so you want you don't want your makeup have a lot of layers I'm going to use this concealer this is the LA girl pro conceal in the shape pure beige I'm going to just apply not too much just a little bit under my eyes and it's not coming up I'm gonna just take and put it right in the inner corners like this just so this much is enough guys because you just need to conceal on the areas where you have problem issues so just don't need to highlight so much during the hot summer months so I'm gonna take my Zoeva concealer brush and gonna blend it Concealing done guys now I'm gonna just uh, set my overall face and I'm using uh, this powder from LA girl and it's the LA girl pressed powder which has got a very nice uh, yellow tint in it so I'm gonna take uh, this uh, puff and take some powder and just press it all over my face don't swipe it off because this will slip off your foundation so just Take it like this and press it on the areas where you just need to or just set. I'll be doing my eyes and after that I'll be just contouring and doing blush and put other things on my face. So now it's time to do our eye makeup. So guys since it's summer time I will be keeping my eyes very neutral and I've been not doing a lot on my eyes. So guys I'm going to use a very nice neutral palette and this one is from PAC. It's the PAC 9 colors matte eyeshadow palette. You can see it has got such nice everyday colors and I really like it. So at first I'm going to take uh, this light brown shade and apply it all over my lid. I'm using one single shade all over my lid. This will just help in creating a base for your eyeshadow. So now I'm going to just mix uh, these uh, two dark shades and apply it right in the outer corners to create a depth in my eyes. Now I'm just going to put it right in the outer corners like this and drag it towards my crease. This will just help in creating a little bit of depth in my eyes. So guys, now I'm going to take this Ashambar Extreme Eyes Coal. So taking the Kajal, I'm going to just tight line my upper and lower waterline. And I'll be just drawing a very thin liner just on my upper waterline like this which I'm gonna just smudge using an angular brush now taking an angular brush like this I'm gonna smudge this liner and also gonna extend it a little bit to create a wing So this will actually help in making your eye look a lot more softer so smudging coal or liner actually help in softening your look you can use a brown kajal pencil as well so taking a smudging brush like this taking a little bit of brown eyeshadow I'm gonna just smudge my lower lash line so try to use a very long lasting coal or kajal guys because this will stay on your waterline for a longer period of time. So you can see it's very simple yet it looks really nice and you can easily create it. So for the mascara guys I'm using my current obsession and it's the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. 
in the variant waterproof so this is really working well for me guys and the smell of this mascara is so good it, it has got such a nice coconutty uh, scent into it which should really makes it really nice so i'm going to just add two good coats of this mascara and it gives you such a nice effect to your lashes it just lifts your lashes so well it doesn't add that much volume but i really like the effect it gives so you can see it has added such nice lifts to my lashes and i really like this mascara guys so guys i have not applied any false eyelash because it's a daytime look and you don't want to add that much drama on your eyes so now it's time to complete the rest of my face so for face contouring i'm going to use a contouring kit and this one is from la girl and it's called the la girl uh, beauty brick which is basically a blush collection palette and you can see it has got a variety of blushes it has got two blushes and one contouring shade and one highlighting shade so i'm going to take uh, the contouring shade and just gonna apply it in the hollows of my face where i just need to add artificial shadows I'm not doing too much harsh contouring guys you can even use a very nice warm bronzer to bronze up your skin and you can skip contouring as well now for the blush guys this is the thing which I'm currently doing I'm using a lipstick as a blush so this is the Vela Voste Nude Tis a satin lipstick so it's basically a satin lipstick it has got a very nice uh, texture as well and the shade looks really pretty you can see so what i'm doing currently is that i'm just taking the lipstick and putting it on the apples of my face like this now using a foundation blending brush i'm going to just buff this out so you can see it's adding such a natural blush to your cheeks and I really like this fact it really makes my cheeks blushing from within and it adds a really nice glow which I really like you can use any lipstick you can even also use a liquid lipstick as a blush and then just blend it out blending is a key guys don't leave it like that it will turn to be a patchy one so just blend it nicely you can use your fingers as well because the warmth of your fingers also helps in blending out so now for the highlighter I'm going to use uh, this highlighting shade from the palette and I'm going to just add a little bit. This highlighting shade is really soft guys. It's not that striking or uh, blinding highlighter which will just make you blind. During the daytime try to skip highlighter but if you love highlighters and if you want that glow on your face you can use a highlighter like this. In my highlighting brush I'm going to take it like this and just apply it on the highest points of my face I'm going to take my pencil brush and just take a little bit of highlighter and put it in the inner corners don't overdo it because uh, it's a daytime look guys I'm gonna also highlight my brow bone with the same as well Basically this is a makeup look guys which I wore when I was on my trip to Shimla and Delhi and I really like this uh, mascara and everything. I really like it. So now it's time to do my lips and, and for the lipstick I am using the same lipstick which I used as uh, the blush. It's the Vela Voste Satin Touch Lipstick which is such a nice uh, everyday pink shade you can see and the shade is called new tees and the swatch is here I... so this is how the lipstick looks and it's really shiny on the lips and it's really moisturizing guys so i'm gonna just blot it down to remove the excess and i just want that stain on my lips so So 
you can see guys this lip shade look really nice and it's such a nice summerish shade which really pairs up well with any of your outfits you can also use a new lipstick in place of this but currently I am using this lipstick and I'm just blotting it down to get a very nice finish and I really like this one now to make your makeup last for a very long time you just need to set it I'm gonna use this setting spray from L'Oreal it's the L'Oreal infallible pro setting spray so I'm gonna just take a good little shower under it and this will just help in lasting my makeup throughout the whole day you can also even use a cold rose water in place of setting spray guys to make your makeup last and I have used it as well you can also use cold water chill water just put it in a spray bottle and just spritz it all over your face and you will be seeing that your makeup will really last long and I really like it and so here comes the finished look guys this is how it turned out and I'm really happy with this finished look because this is basically my go-to makeup look which I'm currently wearing for the past few days and it's working pretty well on me in the hot summer days and if you have a combination skin I think this makeup look will be really helpful for you I have also provided some tips and tricks uh, for dry skin beauties uh, apart from all these uh, tips and tricks I just like to say guys that please do take care of yourself take care of your skin drink lots of water during the summer time this will hydrate your skin and this will automatically show up on your skin eat green fruits and vegetables and it will make your skin so much glowy and fresh so that's all I have to say in this video guys and I hope you really like this video and if you did then please hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't already because your subscription is really needed this pinch which I am growing each and every day really makes me happy and I'm promising you that I'll be providing my hundred percent efforts in this channel i will be more productive i'll be more regular with my videos from now onwards as i used to do so we'll see you soon in my next video guys till then just take care of yourself be happy stay healthy bye